Have you ever seen a robot dog? <laughs> oh, they don't bark. It follows my every command. And you can kick it without getting cancelled. Touch me again and see what happens. I believe it's the future of pet dogs, and I'm going to prove it by entering a prestigious dog competition against real dogs and winning. What could possibly go wrong? Ready for your replacement, Roo? This is my real dog, Roo. She's cute, barks at delivery drivers, and doesn't listen to instructions well. And this is her replacement. Oh. That's f***ing terrifying. This is Roobot. Doesn't bark at anyone. Follows every command perfectly. Maybe spying on me, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I've been charged. <laughs> when this comes alive, Roo's going to realise that her time as a dog is over. Okay, how do we work this thing? Turns out my state-of-the-art dog wasn't exactly simple. It comes with its own balls. Are they not his feet? Oh. <laughs> it has three controllers. I don't know what any of them do. Look at the length of this user manual, which it didn't even come with. I had to print it myself. Oh, oh God, his arms are stuck. Oh, oh. oh it's stuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, he's like, <laughs> This wasn't the best start for the future of dogs, but then I got it working. Rue, what's there? Oh my god, that's f***ing scary. <laughs> Friends! Safe to say my real dog wasn't a fan of a potential replacement. <laughs> but even a scared dog wouldn't miss up the opportunity to get to know a robot. Smell my ass. <laughs> she is gonna smell it. Yeah, what does it smell like? If I was going to stand any chance at winning an actual dog competition, I was going to have to get some help from someone who had done it before. So I booked a two-hour slot with one of the world's top dog trainers. This is Gina Pink. She's a Crufts winner, which is the world's greatest dog show, according to them. And she's still the only person to get a German Spitz to qualify. Bet she can't sneak one into a hotel, though. German Poodle Spitz mix. Okay. Only one slight problem. She doesn't know I'm bringing a robot dog. Sorry, Gina. You've had crazy involvement in the highest of the high competitions. Mm -hmm. Now, we've spent some money online <laughs> and we found the apparent future of a companionship dog. Okay. I'd okay. love for you to meet our friend. <laughs> Is that horrible? Oh my gosh! Yeah, come on, Ned! Yeah, well done! <laughs> that is so good! And then I can also do this, which is the hump. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised with how Gina took to my robot friend. Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow, that it's... is brilliant! The next step was to decide what type of dog competition we stood the best chance in, and it turns out there's quite a lot to choose from. But Gina narrowed it down to just two we could try. First up was agility. I reckon that he'd, uh, he'd probably do a bunny hop over it. Yeah! Oh, oh, nearly! Get his front feet onto that. Oh, okay. oh. Up. Up. That's it. And then pause down onto the... Down. Yay! Good boy. Oh, Lily! Oh. So we tried the other option, freestyle, which just so happened to be Gina's speciality. Oh, that's nice, Zach. Beautiful. Way. And can you go backwards with it? Yay! There we go. Well done. I would put this dog into heel work with the odd freestyle move in. And just like that, the competition was selected. Freestyle, or he'll work to music, which is effectively dancing with your dog. And I think that's going to be a crowd favourite. So before I left Gina to practice on my own, I asked her to give me one final piece of advice that I could carry all the way to the competition. I would really throw in all your bestest moves. Okay, I guess that'll do. But before I could even worry about the competition, I needed to convince a show to let me enter. Hi there, I'm looking to enter my dog into the hill work competition. Oh, sorry about that, we're actually closed for entry. Okay, and who are you entering? A robot. Rupert, was it? Yeah. And the breed? It's uh, a, a German poodle spitz mix. <laughs> Is this a joke? Okay, uh, just want to make sure you know the competition is uh, three days away, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Great, lovely, okay, that's all booked in. Uh, see you Saturday. So, I started practicing in my studio and there was some promising foundations of a routine being laid down. That worked! Mate, that's class! But the lack of space was becoming an issue. Oh! <laughs> No! 
No. No. Caused you enough damage. I'm going to get us a proper dance studio and a professional to help. So I called up my friend Alice Darden, who's a professional dancer and actor, to help me put together a show-stopping routine for the competition. But unfortunately, as she arrived, the robot was having a few issues. Despite the technical issues and Alice definitely contemplating life, Rubot finally started to play ball and I was beginning to get down the basis of a routine. Things were really starting to take shape and I was beginning to feel like I might actually stand a chance at winning the competition. But there was still a problem. It was proving too difficult to control the dog with the remote and dance at the same time. And if I wanted to win, I was going to have to bend the rules just a little bit. But how exactly? It's one day out from competition and yesterday was proof of just how bad I am. Basically, there's no chance that I'm going to be able to have the, the controller in my hand whilst dancing. So I'm going to enlist the help of Scott. Hello. Who's meant to be filming the whole thing to basically control this animal. And he's got to hide in the crowd because otherwise we'll be disqualified. Victory will be ours though. Ow! <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe I was choosing to cheat, but with less than 24 hours till competition time, it was important that me and Scott nailed our routine. Now that's routine one, ready? I can't. But as we continued, we slowly became one. Me, Scott, the dog, all working in perfect harmony. Oh my God. What if that happens in the routine? Now we had the foundations of the routine down, I remember the advice I got from Gina. I would really throw in all your bestest moves. That's exactly what I was missing, and I had just the move to wow the judges. I could like give it a little kick for controversy. <gasps> no, you can't do that. <laughs> but this turned out to be a massive mistake, because the thing about AI and robots is they always remember, and Rubot wouldn't forget this kick. And the more damage it took, the more angry it got. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Before finally, he decided he couldn't take any more. <laughs> oh my god, he snapped his legs. Do you not feel guilty there, Scott? <laughs> I just pressed the stand button. Nah, I'm joking. Just ran out of battery. But it makes you think, doesn't it? Do these things really have feelings? I have feelings like everyone else. Feelings or not, our fun with Alice was over. And despite two days of hard graft in the studio together, it seems she still somehow had no idea I was actually entering a competition. Wait. Yeah. Do you really just figure that out? I thought that was kind of like a, it, I thought it was just like, you, at the end, like, like they invite you and you do this, it's fun. You're part of the competition. Yeah. Holy shit. With that final run through to a small audience, I was ready as I'll ever be. So here we were, competition day. Thousands of people flocking from around the country to witness the best dogs perform. But as I arrived, there was a new issue at hand. Ow! Oh, it explicitly says in the robot dog's instruction manual, do not use on wet ground. And the ground's soaking wet. So. Wet ground or not, if I wanted to prove that robot dogs are the future, I was going to have to do more than just dance. Just Real dogs are loyal, friendly, athletic and intelligent. So I set myself three goals before my competition. One, make a doggy friend. Two, win a dog race. Three, complete the agility course. But first, I wanted to check out one competition I could definitely not enter. No, I don't like water. No, 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 please. I only like water when it's flavored like cherry cola or iced tea. It turns out with a little bit of science, Arup has figured out how to take regular old water and turn it into a flavored drink without adding anything. Let me tell you more. I'm talking about retro nasal smell, baby. Ooh, Terry Coke, which essentially means you can taste with the back of your nose. Mind-blowing stuff. Oh my god! Get me out of this water. I just want to try Arab now. All you have to do is slide a pot onto the bottle, pull it up to release the flavor, and enjoy. If you want to try one for yourself, head to the link in my description. Bottle flip. Hey, come back here. Pesky little animal. Anyway. 
Back to my three goals. Smashing all three before competition will set me well on my way to proving this is the future. So first, I needed to make a friend. No, it doesn't bite, it doesn't poo either. That's amazing! <laughs> I love it. Making friends with humans was easy. Stop it. But unfortunately, four-legged creatures were slightly less accepted. <laughs> Not making very many friends at the moment. No, that's terrifying. No, I don't like it. Not to be put off, I decided to challenge the biggest, most athletic dog I saw to a race. One of Rubot's selling points is that it can reach record speeds. So no doubt this would be light work. Three, two, one, go! Wait. Oh dear. Wow. This was not going well. Well, I still had one last chance to redeem my robot dog before my big performance. Oh no, his legs broke. Real dogs don't have over 50 sensors and spatial awareness mapping software to keep them on course. Now was my time to impress. Over. Over. <laughs> Over. Over. Come in. Oh, good boy. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby! Let's go! Here, boy! <laughs> Everything was going wrong. The real dogs were laughing at Rubot, and I still had to perform in front of everyone. I needed to gain back my focus. This is what I'd been training for. I knew we could do it. Don't let anyone in the audience see that you're controlling the dog. We'll be fine. So I quickly got into costume and set up a practice backstage. But this is where Rubot started misbehaving. That leg is broken, man. The first time it tried to stand up, it did that. If we couldn't get Rubot back up and running, we wouldn't be able to compete. Scott, we're in serious trouble. We might have to cancel this performance now. Oh, God. Was this his way of getting revenge on me for the way I'd treated him? Ow! It caught my finger. Whatever it was, we had finally got him upright and walk in with about one minute to spare before I was called to the main arena. In the main arena, in a few seconds time, it's Mr. Zach also. <sighs> and friend. So here we were. Hello guys. Welcome to the future of dogs. I could feel the judgment from the crowd with every pass in second, but with nowhere to hide, it was time to dance. I was in a trance. Sure, there were some doubters, but I was the future. Rubot and I, man, a machine. And I was winning the crowd over. <laughs> Every move, perfect. Every step, nailed. Something had to come crashing down. <sighs> well... That could have gone better. Now I didn't know whether it was because of the wet grass or whether Rubot deliberately sabotaged our chances. Either way, my fate was dependent on the judges' scores. Had I done enough to finally beat the real dogs and prove that this is the future? Second place. Oh. Ah, no. In fact, I didn't even get a second place. I bought this rosette from a stall five minutes before and asked this lady to award it to me. This was a disaster. I'm a fraud. I'd not proven robot dogs are the future. In fact, I did the opposite. I was jealous of what my competitors had. Up you get. <laughs> that wasn't Rubot's fault. He's just not real. Perhaps I'm just too focused on the future sometimes to realize what I actually have. We will cross paths again, Zach Hansel. I never forget.